Do you remember that when you were a kid, everything was so fresh and exciting to your eyes? And do you remember that a natural way to share that simple joy of life was to take colors and drawing? And do you remember then how happy you were to share them with the people around you? But now, how many of you still enjoy that? As for me, there was a period in which the joy of drawing became an uncomfortable shyness because I was growing up, but my drawing skills were not improving at the same pace. I felt that drawing required the talent, a natural gift that I didn't have. Have you also experienced the same? In those awkward moments, I decided to approach drawing from various perspectives, technical, historical, scientific, which led me also to unexpected discoveries. So I want you now to close your eyes and recollect the drawing of your childhood. OK. Did you see strong lines to mark the boundaries of shapes? Did you see people having circle for their eyes, triangle for nose, line for hair? Now you can open it. <laughs> and this is the result of a neglect of uh, our sense of sight, of what we see. And this happens not because you are not Raffaello. Instead, there is behind a structural reason. Let me prove this. Touch your hair. Can you feel each hair one by one? And now, pass your fingers on your eyes. Are they circle? And now follow the shape of your nose. It resembles a triangle, right? That's the point. You were not drawing what you saw. Instead, visual images of your sense of touch. Because we grow up to naturally rely more on the latter. Because it teaches us what can cut, sting, burn, hurt. It, had, it allows us to distinguish between safety to danger. Moreover, we structure upon it our very first knowledge of the world because on infants it takes around three years to have a fully developed sight. And meanwhile, they discover the world around themselves touching it. So our former problem was not a lack of talent. Instead, a natural hierarchy between the senses. And now that we are aware of this, we can step even forward and pretend and try to educate our brain to rely more on sight. This does sound difficult, but we can trick it very easily. For example, taking a picture and putting upside down like this, it looks curiously new. And our brain sees something in light and shade without automatically putting everything in those pre-existent categories of high snow hair. And if you now try to copy it exactly like it is, and without naming in your mind the features of the face as you draw them, you will come out with your first drawing upon sight. And I will uh, let you judge the surprising results. So, why not now go to take back your drawings? And uh, why not to go back and take your colors and start enjoying more what you finally see? Concern about the image itself and not their function. Treasure those delicate washes of blue, yellow, orange on the clouds and let your eyes enjoy the dancing light on the surface of a water stream. So focus, just pay more attention to what your eyes see and you will find yourself immersed in a sea of light in which every wave of color influences each other in a resulting harmony. You might not have your colors with you, but you will feel in your childhood again, marveling of the happiness of gazing at the rhythm of color. Thank you. Grazie. Grazie.